Hi, I'm G, this is my art channel, and this is my Copic marker drawing of Harry Kane. So there you can see the reference photo that my nephew sent to me, and that's a picture that I'm working from, and I'm using Copic Cool Grays 1, 3, 5, and 7. So I did the rest of the picture first and left the face and the hair to last because I knew that was going to be tricky. So you can see me putting down a base coat of uh, cool grey number three first on the hair because it's quite dark. And then using five to go in and add some shadow so I'm getting some definition areas. I'm getting areas that look like clumps of hair or perhaps strands of hair. And then I go in with five again and add some extra bits of, you know, dark, a second layer of cool grey number five before I start going in there and adding some really dark areas with the cool grey number seven just to give that real shadow and contrast. And when I move on to the ear, you see me start again with cool grey number three because this side of the face is in quite a bit of shadow and then I'm adding cool grey number five on top and I'm doing it quickly so that the three and the five will kind of blend together a little bit before they end up drying. And when I move on to the face, I start with an eye and I start to work outwards from that eye. Doing a face can be really tricky because you've got so many pieces and parts of the face and they all connect. So if you're not careful, you can get these drying lines, you know, between the patch of the face that you do. So I thought what I would do is just start with the eye, start with cool grey one, then up to cool grey three, and then cool grey five to add that definition to the pupil and also the top of the eyelids. And I'd work out from that, almost like ripples on a pond. So I'd work outwards down the nose, down the side of the face and across to the ear and I do all my base kind of uh, colors using cool grain number one first of all so I'm just getting an idea where shadow areas are going to be and if any area is light and there's a real light patch on his face I just left that paper white I didn't put any color there as you can see I just sort of worked around it so I left sort of natural paper white highlights and in some places, going straight to cool grey number three is too much of a jump. It looked too dark. So what I would do is just layer up my cool grey number one. I put on the cool grey number one, let it dry a little bit, and then I start putting cool grey number one on there again. So I'm getting that kind of second layer. And if you kind of like wait a little bit, but not until it's completely dry, it will blend in with the color underneath. Uh, the Copic markers are really, really good for that, and they blend terrifically well. Plus, they've got a brush tip, so you can kind of feather your kind of line work a little bit in order to try and make it fade out and blend in a little bit. You just saw me doing his beard there, his stubble, using a, I think that was a cool grey number five, and just using the brush tip really delicately to try and get some of that stubble. Now this side of the face you can see me working on here was a lot darker, so I really did have to use my cool grey number five and then cool grey number seven for some of those shadow areas and the eyebrow and the pupils and the eyelids around the eye. Really had to get quite dark there in order to get that, that kind of depth so for the side of the face that was really dark compared with the side that was a lot paler. You see me doing the forehead, I'm just using cool grey number one and then putting in the creases in his forehead using cool grey number three. I blend in a little bit with the one and then I start putting in some slightly darker shadows using cool grey number five but also flipping back to three to just try and blend those in so the shadows aren't too strong. Then it's a little bit more cool grey number one before I start working onto the neck. Uh, and the neck again has a really strong side of shadow with a much lighter side. So I just put down my basic cool grey number one and then I'm working up into cool grey number three. And I'm flicking all of my strokes towards the right hand side of his neck there so that I'm getting a nice you know, sort of gradual transition from the dark areas into the light areas. Plus there are a few sort of quite contrasty areas around his Adam's apple and stuff. So, you know, I work the brush tip around those in order to try and get that kind of uh, contrast between light and dark areas. Then you can see me just doing a little bit of work on the beard, a little bit of extra shadow in there and stubble, again using the Courier number five and seven. So a little bit of white gel pen on the eyes, framed up and it's finished. So if you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. That way you won't miss any of my future videos.